Hi there, everyone. It's Lily Dows here at AIBC Asia 2023. I'm joined by Jared Dillinger, and you are a pro athlete, an entrepreneur. You have TV shows, so much going on, and you're based here in Manila. So please just, Jared, introduce yourself, sure. tell our viewers who you are, what you're doing, all the amazing things. Sure. Oh, okay. My goodness. Thank you. Yes, my life is very chaotic right now. Um, so as you were saying, yes, I'm a pro athlete. I've been playing basketball out here in the Philippines for quite some time. I'm also an influencer, content creator, whether that's through my basketball show called Let It Fly and also my CNN show called The Future. I do a range of things. I like putting my hands on every, anything that I can touch. I think I have a severe case of ADHD, but it kind of plays into the role of being an entrepreneur. So I'm having a lot of fun, meeting a lot of people and I don't know what's next, but I'll figure something out. <laughs> I mean, you so, sound so busy. I don't mean, I don't think you need to think about what's yeah. next. I think you just need to, you know, continue doing what you're doing. And obviously part of it is looking into innovations here in the Philippines and trying to develop that as well. Yes. Yes, correct. Um, I've been working with a handful of crypto companies and centralized exchanges where I give an informational and educational series of content to help the masses in terms of lessening the, the the steep learning curve of onboarding into crypto, into NFTs or finance, if you will. Obviously, there has been a big boom, uh, influx of interest, not in the world, but specifically in the Philippines. Um, if you don't know, the Philippines is top three in the world in terms of onboarding into crypto and having the most wallets. Um, mobile, the, the usage of mobile phones is incredibly high here in the Philippines. So I saw that coming and I saw that trend. So I wanted to be the spearhead in terms of just giving the people the right knowledge, the right information on how to utilize this and, and take advantage of this new trend that's coming in. Amazing. I think especially at being a pro athlete like yourself, so you have access to an amazing community, a young generation, an old generation. And you can say to all of them, you know, how, let me help you build a different community, which is based around technology. Let me help you to become part of this different community, which is out there. Yes, that's correct. And I think as long as we're continuing to push the boundaries and at the same time giving the people an idea and a taste of what's there to come, I think that the sky's the limit for the Philippines. We have so much opportunity here and the society is catching up to the technology. And I think now that AI is coming into the picture, which is just a whole new curveball that we're trying to figure out on the go, especially out here in the Philippines and how much more that could help our community and our society. I'm really excited and I can't wait to show people more of how to use this and what it is and how we're going to like adapt it to, to what we do on a daily basis. Of course, and I think especially in the sports industry as well, there's so much potential with NFTs, with the metaverse. I mean, there's so much that can be done with that. How can you see the sports industry and technology coming together to create this whole new digital world? Right. I think the one thing, the, the lowest hanging fruit that, that I can see is obviously community driven community engagement having the fans interact with their idols on a more personal more engaging level i think also as we step into this ai revolution that we're coming into i'm noticing that as awesome as ai is but at the same time there are i guess warrants that we need to watch out for that i can fake my voice i can make an avatar of you and act like you and give a presentation so i think when we emerge ai with crypto or nfts i think that the the biggest thing that's we're gonna emerge with both is showing the authenticity and the identification digitally that that person is the real person or that person is saying the real thing that they should be saying mm -hmm. so when we Put that into sports obviously i'm going to make sure that me myself is the real person that's talking and giving the right content to people so really exciting times uh i keep saying that but i'm just i'm pretty hyped here because you have such good energy and uh you're making me really excited <laughs> I mean, I am very hyped. I just think seeing the Asian market, for me, it's the first time that I've been in the Philippines. Oh, really? okay. Yeah, first time here. And it's incredible just to see how positive people are. And I was saying, you know, coming from the West, I actually think there is potential in the West, of course, but 
in the east there is so much potential there's so many people that can be helped with technology and i think that helping mechanism is amazing because it's not just in the west where people are just doing it for monetary value here people are trying to help help farmers help local people help people that have no access to bank accounts it's incredible I think that, that that's correct. I mean, I think you nailed it on the dot. You understand in certain parts of the world, it's there's not as much interest as there is in certain areas and certain sectors. And you notice here in this region of the world, you could feel the uplifting, infectious, positive vibes when we talk about crypto or NFTs. I think why we are so helpful as a culture, as a people, maybe this is just a thing out here in Asia. I feel that culturally we are more helpful. Like we have that service like embedded into our, how we are as people. We always want to be hospital. We always want to be a service to others. And I think maybe I'm just speculating why we're so helpful t to one another and just trying to make everyone win in this, in the, in this industry. I definitely agree. Since I've been here, people have been so friendly. I've been willing to talk about different topics, lots of different global topics, especially technology. I really think it's the moment you talk about even gaming, everyone's eyes light up. They're like, wow, yes, it's a big industry. There's potential for us to get involved. And I think it's the landscape of it. Anyone can get involved. It doesn't matter of your gender. It doesn't matter of your race, anything. That's what technology is great about. It's about just people being themselves and utilizing it in a, in a positive light. And obviously you bring that as well because you have your, as I say, you have your sports part of what you do. You have your entrepreneurial part. So you really are giving back to the people. And I'm sure that they absolutely love you here in the Philippines. And being here at AIBC, why have you enjoyed being here? What's been amazing about this event? I think the biggest thing that I like from this event, it feels like a festival, doesn't it not? It's not just a conference of tech or gaming or casinos or it's like a combination of sorts. And they really did make it a spectacle here. Like Sigma did a really good job combining all the all of these different sectors into one. So it's like you have your tech guys over here and you have your gaming and your gambling, a uh, little bit of sports and they put it all in the one, they shook it all up and now it's like a big circus of, of entertainment. I found that really cool and I found that really interesting how there's just so many different type of people that you can speak to. It's not just all local or all international, it's really people from all over the world and it is really great meeting new people from different parts and talking about perspectives and opinions and um, you know I hope Sigma keeps coming out here every year. I mean I was a little took off guard seeing that Manila was on on the map for for such a big conference and um, you know we just got done speaking to some of the founders of this event and they're great people and I could see the vision of what they're building and what they're doing and how they're continuing to push the boundaries. I love it. I'm on board. So I, I hope you guys have another one next year because this was really, really fun. I mean, you just did my whole job for me of pitching AIBC, oh. of being incredible. <laughs> Sigma is being AIB, of being incredible because it truly is. I, I, as you say, I've met so many interesting people mm -hmm. and it's really nice to see, as you say, the tech people mm -hmm. that maybe aren't that outgoing yeah. and as crazy. They're founders. They're used to sitting behind a computer a lot and trying to develop something amazing. And they're thrown in with some gamers and some yeah. betting businesses. It's a really fun mix of people. And I can mm -hmm. tell that everyone's having fun. Everyone that's come here for an interview has told me how amazing it's been. So thank you so much, Jaris, for being here. Thank, thank you for joining us. We will be back in the Philippines for sure. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Filipinos, mahal kita. Let's do this. Woo! <laughs>